I've never seen a time where all the threats, or so many of the threats, are all elevated all at exactly the same time. So blinking red lights analogy about 9-11, all the lights were blinking red before 9-11. Apparently, obviously, all of us missed it. Would you say that there's multiple blinking red lights out there? I see blinking lights everywhere. An urgent warning from the FBI director. Terror threat alerts reaching an all-time high. Agents working around the clock to prevent a Hamas-inspired attack from hitting us here at home. But open borders and limited resources are stretching the FBI thin. Chris Swecker, former assistant FBI director, great to have you here. Just for example, call right. for number one here in, um, on the border in 2021, 2022, and 2023. Look at the number of people that we have actually arrested that were picked up and they are on the terror watch list. And that doesn't include how many we didn't find as they crossed the border. That's 736 so far in fiscal year 23. Chris, do you believe that FBI Director Ray probably has a, I would say he has a hard time sleeping at night, but it must be hard to figure out how to make sure none of these threats comes through. Right, well, Chris was right to point out the elevated terrorist threat. It's off the charts. And, and anyone with an ounce of counterterrorism experience knows that. And we've been calling this out for quite a while. And it's not just because of the Hamas-Israel conflict. Our southern border represents the greatest threat to this country that we've had in, in my lifetime. That border is wide open, 1.7 million gotaways. So all these things, they were trying to renew Section 702, which gives them some cer certain surveillance authorities. These are things that came in after 9-11 counterterrorism measures that the FBI needed. And there are many others as well. Airport screening. You can't even get through the airports anymore. All those counterterrorism efforts are for naught. They're nullified. They're neutralized by this open border. When you have known uh, terrorists being caught and then 1.7 million people who got away and about 6.7 million coming across the border over during Biden's administration or, or border encounters, we basically turned our border patrol into Walmart greeters. They're not doing mm. the job that they were, you know, yeah, and they're they completely overwhelmed and at, 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 yeah, at the and, border. The FBI director mentioned, you mentioned 702, this section that's a part of the FISA reauthorization bill. Here's what he said is the importance of. What if there were a terrorist attack that we had a shot to prevent but couldn't take it because the FBI was deprived of its ability under 702 to actually look at key information already sitting in our holdings. Allowing 702 to lapse or amending it in a way that guts its effectiveness uh, would be reckless at best uh, and dangerous and irresponsible at worst. Chris, do you agree? I do agree. The FBI is an important organization. They have a very important mission. But I wish Chris had been more strident, again, about, about the reasons why we need these types, you know, that the, the, the threat is elevated at this point. And again, it's because of the border. We also have a fifth column in this country. There are many, many Hamas supporters across the country showing their support for a terrorist organization. What if it was al-Qaeda or ISIS? You know, they're, they're out there demonstrating and actually, you know, in my view, many violating the material support statute that is set up to prevent people from providing support to foreign terrorist organizations. Right. So there's, a, there's many factors here that go into the threat. I just wish Chris had been a little bit more strident about the border. It was a great opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. It makes their job harder. They can have all the 702 authorities they want, but look, we've got 1,500 miles of open land right. that people can cross. Any terrorist who wants to come across can. not We need all of the tools. In fact, the Wall Street Journal headline was terrorism threats rising in Europe. So the United States, we are not the only ones worried about terrorist threats and on top of it. Chris Swecker, thank you for joining us today. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.